Hey guys, I'm John, and today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the brand new Mishimoto Top Mount Intercooler Kit for the 2015 Subaru WRX. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 4mm Allen key, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13mm deep sockets, 6 inch quarter drive extension, 12 inch quarter drive extension, quarter drive ratchet, 13 millimeter ratchet wrench, needle nose pliers, pop clip pliers, channel lock pliers, a small flathead screwdriver, a large flathead screwdriver, and WD-40. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. Using our flathead screwdriver, remove the two pop clips for the air intake duct. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two 10 millimeter fan shroud bolts from the passenger side fan. Before removing the entire shroud, make sure to unplug the fan shroud plug connections. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the worm gear clamp that connects the charge pipe to the intercooler. Remove the two hoses that go to the induction housing in front of the bypass valve. Next, remove the two 12mm bolts that hold the charge pipe to the turbo. Using an 8mm socket, loosen the charge pipe clamp on the bypass valve. Below the clamp you just loosened, remove that second clamp using needle nose pliers. Disconnect the small hose from the bypass valve. Next, pull the entire charge pipe up and out of the engine bay. Make sure to remove the bypass valve and set it aside. Remove the O-ring from the turbo side of the charge pipe and set aside. Take the O-ring you just removed and install it on your new Mishimoto charge pipe. Using three worm gear clamps, assemble the bypass valve by installing the two Mishimoto silicone bypass valve hoses onto the charge pipe. This is easiest to do when the entire charge pipe assembly is out of your engine bay. Remove the small bypass valve vacuum hose from the port on the side of your engine. Take the Mishimoto provided bypass valve vacuum hose and insert it into the same port you took the small stock one out of. Now you're ready to install the entire unit into your Subaru. Using the two 12mm bolts you removed earlier, tighten the charge pipe. Reinstall the lower spring clip hose that connects from the bypass valve hose to the induction housing. Using an 8mm socket, tighten the two worm gear clamps that connect the bypass valve to the charge pipe. Go ahead and tighten the bypass valve hose onto the bypass valve. Make sure to reroute the two hoses that go into the induction housing once everything is tightened on the bypass valve and charge pipe. Now you can reinsert your fan shroud, seating it properly into the pegs. Make sure that the bypass valve and the hoses don't interfere with your fan shroud. Make sure to plug in the fan shroud electrical connection. Reattach the fan shroud to the radiator using the two 10 mm bolts you removed earlier. Next, we want to remove the vacuum hose that routes near the intercooler. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the clamp that connects the throttle body coupler to the intercooler. Next, loosen all three 12 mm bolts that hold the bracket to the intercooler. Loosen the 12 mm bolt on the passenger side of the intercooler. Now, you can fully remove the stock intercooler. Go ahead and fully remove the bracket on the passenger side. Remove the stock throttle body coupler using a flathead screwdriver. Using a flathead screwdriver, install your new Mishimoto throttle body coupler. The logo should face forward into the intercooler. Install the Mishimoto provided intercooler bracket on the passenger side for the intercooler, but don't fully tighten it yet. Remove the rubber bushings and spacers from the stock intercooler and transfer them over to your new Mishimoto intercooler. Before you install the charge pipe coupler, make sure to apply some WD-40 to the coupler. This should make it a lot easier to install the intercooler. Now, install your new Mishimoto intercooler. Now we can install the driver side bracket for the intercooler. Hand tighten the bolt which attaches the intercooler to the bracket. Make sure the spacer is in between the two and doesn't fall out. You can go ahead and fully tighten the other two 12 mm bolts at this time. Now over on the passenger side, install the charge pipe to intercooler coupler. Spraying some WD-40 inside the coupler will help you install the two together. Tighten down the T-bolt clamps with a 10 mm socket. Next, tighten down the passenger side bracket which attaches to the intercooler with one 12 mm nut and bolt. Now tighten the passenger side bracket bolt under the intercooler. Make sure to use a 13 mm ratchet wrench. Tighten the second T-bolt clamp on the intercooler to charge pipe coupler using a 10 mm deep socket. Using your flathead screwdriver, tighten the worm gear clamp holding the driver side coupler on the intercooler. Using the two pop clips you removed earlier, 
Reattach the intake duct for your WRX. Remove the 12 pop clips that hold the heat shielding on the underside of your WRX's hood. Once you remove the heat shielding, remove the 14 pop clips and two 8mm bolts that hold the inner panel for the hood scoop. With the seven provided pop clips, install the new Mishimoto hood scoop. Once the scoop is installed, install the last provided bracket for the air scoop using five pop clips. Reinstall the inner panel for the hood scoop using the 14 pop clips and two eight mm bolts you removed earlier. Next, reinstall the heat shielding cover using the 12 pop clips you removed earlier. Loosen your driver side mounting bracket 12 mm bolt. Be careful not to lose your spacer. Install the intercooler air diverter by first lining up the bracket on the driver side and then tighten. Loosen your passenger side mounting bracket 12 mm nut and bolt. Install the other side of the air diverter onto the passenger side mounting bracket. Next, tighten both of the bolts so that the air diverter is snug against the intercooler. Be sure to make sure everything is tightened and aligned before taking your WRX out for a test drive. Now that you've installed your brand new Mishimoto top mount intercooler kit, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your WRX for a test drive. If you enjoyed this install, click subscribe.